Decades of waiting and countless average sunny days will soon be rewarded with a brief, breathtaking sight filling Indiana's sky. The next eclipse is, I think, in 2045, all right, so it's 21 years from now. I don't know if I'm going to be here, but I know I'm going to be here for this one, so let's, let's make the most of this one. Preserving that moment won't be as difficult as you might think, and Walter Kuhn at Robert's camera wants to equip Hoosiers with everything they need to get the perfect shot, including a solar filter, important for protecting your camera's sensor and your eyes. When totality hits, we don't need these. We take these off, okay? But while we're photographing the sun before that and while we're photographing the sun after that, this is the key. Anybody could take a good picture of the eclipse, but the experts here at Robert's Camera say the equipment you need from a smartphone to a professional camera depends on the shot you want to get. Which of these do you want or do you want something in between it? He says once they sell out of filters, they won't be restocking. And while the store's rental equipment has all been claimed for the big day, you can still sign up for a lesson on eclipse photography. But remember, time is of the essence because you won't have much on April 8th. Well, my best advice is don't wait for the eclipse, okay? Photography is the recording of light. The sun's going to be the same today as it's going to be on April 8th. Let's, put, let's go buy this, let's put this on, and let's go figure this out today. For many, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I made this picture in 2017. But a lucky few already know, while a picture's worth a thousand words, it's hard to find the right ones for something like this. Don't get so wrapped up in trying to capture it that you don't take a few moments to experience it because it's indescribable. Photography, photo, no photo or video is going to do it justice. You just have to experience it. Reporting in Indianapolis, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News.